What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. In today's video, I want to give you guys two run plays that I find to be the most OP run plays within Madden 23, especially against CPU opponents, but I have also tested these and had massive success with them against user opponents as well. These two plays can be found in pretty much every single playbook within the game, and that is why they're going to be extremely useful to you. There's not a whole lot of effort involved with these. You don't have to do a whole lot to the plays to make them work for you. And you're going to be able to utilize them no matter what team you are, no matter what playbook you're utilizing, because they are just that good. These are, in my opinion, the two most consistent run plays within Madden 23. Yeah, you might find plays that break for big yardage here or there, or maybe it's a 50%, whether it breaks or something like that. But these plays will consistently average four, five, six, even more yards per carry with the home run potential of breaking away for those big home run plays. And it literally does not matter what running back you put in the backfield when utilizing these plays. And real quick, before I show you these two plays, make sure you guys leave a like on this video, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. A lot of you guys watching my videos do not subscribe, and if you want to continue to see me make these videos that are going to help you out on Madden and other games, I need you guys to subscribe to the channel, leave that feedback down below so that we can continue to drive the YouTube algorithm and get this channel pumped out to as many viewers as possible so that we can continue to help as many users as possible. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into an actual play now game on all Madden difficulty and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. The very first play is going to be out of the goal line formation, and yes, I know that this might be considered a little bit cheesy. If you want an unstoppable run play that's going to just churn out yardage for you, you're going to want to utilize halfback sting out of the goal line normal formation. Like I said, this one is in every single playbook. You don't have to make any adjustments whatsoever to this play. If you want to have the most OP run game within Madden 23, you're going to want to have this in your running scheme you really don't have to do a lot i'm literally making no adjustments to these plays whatsoever and you'll see exactly what i mean by how op and consistent this play is within madden 23 i make no adjustments here whatsoever i don't sprint i don't even hold r1 to cover the ball and i simply follow my blockers downfield for a gain of eight yards yes defenses will be able to make plays against this yes a Occasionally, they will stack up against you like this, as you see out of a goal line, but a lot of times that just means you're going to be able to hit this for a big run as long as you get the blocks happening in front of you correctly. You do not need to have a good offensive line. You do not need to have a good running back. This is the type of stuff that's going to happen over and over and over again if you just simply run goal line sting, halfback sting out of that goal line normal formation. Yeah, like I said, said occasionally a defense might make a play but if you just simply bear down with your running back it literally does not matter who it is you can run this thing all the way down the field and it's going to run against pretty much anything. I want to talk a little bit about why this play is so overpowered, and that is because within Madden, there is a system behind the scenes that is counting how many big-bodied players each side has on the field at one time. That's why they have it coded into the game, where if a defense comes out with a three-man rush and the offense comes out running the football, they're going to get all those pancake blocks. Well, it's the same concept here. We are effectively coming out with a quarterback, a a running back and nine blockers there are simply not nine heavy bodied defensive players out here on the field at most you have the three down linemen right here and four linebackers or the four three defense opposite of that so seven guys even if you come out in a four four defense or 44 defense they're going to have eight and you're still going to have the numbers advantage it is extremely productive to just simply run this play over and over again and like i said i 
highly recommend that you incorporate it into your run game. The other thing to note is you saw earlier that I was running this play and the defense did call goal line. Well, if you aren't familiar, one of the most effective things to do whenever the defense puts extra guys on the line of scrimmage is actually run against it because the easiest blocks for offensive linemen to make are those defensive linemen that are down on the line of scrimmage. Likewise, when you see somebody running mid blitz, for example, that nickel double A gap or nickel double mug formation on defense, one of the best things you can do is run against it because when linebackers, defensive linemen, whoever come up on the line of scrimmage, those blocks happen immediately and you're going to be by them quickly as a running back even if you're not sprinting so you want to make sure that you're incorporating the halfback sting play here out of the goal line formation into your running game it doesn't even matter here if they stack up extra players on that side of the ball you simply just have to find whatever hole your offense is going to produce for you and you're going to gain yardage the next play that you're going to want to be on the lookout for is out of single back ace and not every playbook within madden is going to have this but you want halfback blunt dive out of single back ace this play is extremely similar to what we just talked about in its effectiveness. You really have to do nothing to this play for it to break for huge yardage. Most of my long touchdown runs in Madden 23 have come off of this play. You can see very early here that we're hitting it for big yardage, and you really don't have to do any adjusting. Now on both of these plays, you can try to ID the Mike linebacker in order to influence your blocking scheme whichever way you like but you really don't even have to do that this is a zero effort play that is going to grind through defenses and get you yardage this even works against users it's not going to be as effective against users because they can come up with strategies to stop it but they cannot stop the blocker advantage that you have on this play you are just simply going to overpower most defenses with your blocker advantage it's like what we talked about with the goal line formation that Madden is going to register a blocker advantage for you that is going to gain yardage and there you see third and ten literally no problem for this running play whatsoever much like we talked about with the halfback sting out of goal line normal the halfback blunt dive out of single back ace is going to just absolutely grind through defenses and it only gets better if you have a better running back the faster you're running back the better the stronger you're running back the better you got a derrick henry a saquon barkley somebody like that you're going to be breaking these plays for massive rushing touchdowns all day long against users and cpus like I said, this is extremely consistent, and that is why I deem them the most overpowered plays within Madden 23. You could already see that the halfback sting play is a little bit more consistent, as in not getting tackled in the backfield from time to time, but the halfback blunt dive will be more consistent for breaking long rushing plays, getting those long rushing touchdowns that you're likely to want to get with your top end running backs. And yet again, another critical situation converted on the same exact play, a fourth and four. It doesn't matter. You can run this in a four down system and just grind through defenses. I really do hope that this video helped you guys out. I certainly don't want to see people necessarily cheesing this, but when the game can be cheesy itself, especially with all the bugs, the glitches and all that stuff, and the CPU can be difficult to defeat, it can't hurt to have these in your arsenal to mix them in i do probably run them more than i should and i do probably cheese slash abuse them a little bit more than i should but nonetheless you guys should at least know that these plays are out there and are the most overpowered plays within madden 23 as i said in the beginning of the video please leave a like down below comment and if you have not already why haven't you subscribed as always i'll see you in the next video and i hope you have a good one